Welcome back, this uni crew. It's sugar. So I'm coming on because I wanted to do a hat and a shirt. So the shoes in color print easy by scissor, but you can get this from Heat Transfer Warehouse. It's made for Eco Sovereign uh, printer. I just converted over a Epson Eco Tank 2400 and I just converted it over to an Eco Sovereign. And that's what I did to get me an Eco Sovereign printer. Now, these um, Color Print Easy are a print vinyl. It's like a HTV print vinyl. And it's, they have it uh, for sublimation and all kind of other stuff too, but I don't think this one particular brand, but. Um, you had to buy this from you don't know, you have to buy this from heat transfer warehouse and i will try to link that down below if you do buy from the links that i provide um underneath my video i do get a percentage and it will help your girl out a whole lot so do is our hat i got this hat from uh aliexpress or either alibaba it's been a long time i had bought like a whole bunch of them at one time so the design I'm going to be using is a heart that got flowers growing out of it, like growth. And a saying that I love that said, grow through what you go through. I was like, oh yeah. So the heart looks like this. It has like flowers. So I feel you're like, you know, my heart is still growing. You know, you know, you got a little bumps and bruises and everything, but it's still growing and it's still blooming. It's, you know, get better with time. That's what my message is for myself. I am making this for myself. I ain't making this for nobody special. So you have to have your sublimation paper for the hat. This is a polyester material on top of here. So we can sublimate on it. Sublimation paper I am using is Blanks by Tiffa Collection. She is amazing, y'all. Right now, I don't know if she's still doing it or not. But, you know, when she was selling it, I still had something. I bought some probably, I think, last year before I moved out. Well, they, yeah, last year before I moved. So yeah, this is a eight and a half by 14 sheet that um, I ordered from her, but we already printed our images and everything. And the paper is a no bleed. You don't have to put a mask and tape, I mean, um, a butcher paper down or nothing, y'all. It's so good. So my head press I got from Amazon probably like about three years ago for it to mix. And, and I think I paid them more like 200. I do love it. I don't use it as much as I should, but you want to hit press make sure you check out amazon i do have an amazon um affiliate link underneath my video so if you go through my store and search some of it you might find it in one of my collections it's a sublimation so this is a heat tape as well you can get this from amazon as well so um, you will need heat tape tape the image down to your hats Okay. And I'm just gonna place it where I wanted to go. Now I don't have um, a big work room with it. I want it to be big, but then it's like I don't want it to like bleed real bad. So I was like, I ain't gonna do too much. I'm gonna just keep it simple. So I just printed it enough to go in that little small area there. Try to get it as tight as possible. Is that one look like it got some air in it? So I might have to tape it a couple times. So you just lift this thing up, you know, put the back part there, and it just kind of makes your head a little sturdy. You just pull it down real good. Make sure you tape it where you want it to go. And then I'm gonna pull the level down. And it does have a timer on it for like 19 seconds. I think I'm going to let it go a little longer than that. So, let's we'll just kind of eyeball it. Probably go a good 30 something. So, I'm almost going to beat. I'm going to let it beat for a little bit. So, it was set for 20 seconds. Okay, so I'm 
came out pretty good. I almost got a little ghosting on the bottom part of the through. Should have put it up just a tad more higher. You see right there. Doesn't look bad, but yeah. So this is the hat. Make sure y'all leave your honest opinion. Tell me what you think. Those colors are busting. The camera is not doing it no justice, honey. I'm telling you. But yeah, it's a little ghosting right there. I should have put it up a little tad higher. I'm still learning how to do hats. I'm not like super good at hats, but you know, we learning. So that is my hat. Okay. All right. So now we're going to do the shirt. And I am using the HTV, the HTV runt. Okay, so I am using the HTV runt heat press, and it was a gift for my birthday last year. Year for last, last year, I think it was last year, y'all. I can't keep up. And uh, so far, it's already on. I got it on 350. And like I said, this is the color print easy. I already weeded it. You have to weed it like regular vinyl, and it comes with a heat. Well, you have to buy a heat transfer tape, and that's a carrier sheet, but it's also heat resistant. And I am going to make sure I press my shirt first to get some of the moisture out of it. Okay, so it's a, a automatic press where you just push your button, and it'll go down automatically by itself which is pretty cool. I don't use it as much as I should. I haven't figured out the pressures or the settings good yet. I just kind of like let it do its thing. Um, I'm so used to using Old Faithful, which is like a clamshell and it's very sturdy and I'm used to that. This one here is a very lightweight um, heat press. A lot of people do love it. Um, it keeps you from forgetting about it, that's for sure, because you know, it comes up by itself, so that's a good thing. Because real memory don't be worth a poop. So, like I said, I already weeded it. All I got to do is place it where I want it to go. About right there. Push it back in there. Just going to push the R, and then it'll go down by itself. All right. So I am going to use a scissor, pink glitter, and I already weeded everything out. I think I bought this glitter about two years ago from High. I know I'm say Michaels Arts and Crafts. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So we pull the drum back out. Remove. Remove. Oh, wait a minute, honey. Hold on. Let it cool. Make sure you let it cool. Okay. It's pretty. Okay. So I'm going to move my shirt up just a tad. Or let it go for the couple seconds that's supposed to go. Okay, and pull it cold. Let it cool because this is a glitter. Some glitter can be poor or hot, some of it be tripping, so it's best to let it cool. Okay, and I'm going to press both again. Let it both get some more press time. I want to make sure it's on there. Like I said, my heat press is up to two, uh, 350. 
for it was 25 seconds on the heat press so I just let it go what it is on there shirt you would like with a printable vinyl. Printable vinyl is your best friend. But like I said, this is a special vinyl. It is a HTV vinyl, but it is printable. It's just like a regular white HTV vinyl, but it's made for eco cyber. Now I did a a video I think about a year or two ago testing um to see can I use a regular vinyl by flipping it the opposite direction and it did work. So if you want to try this technique you can I'm going to give it a couple more presses because I need to make sure this paper is down. But so far, this is what it looks like. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe to your girl's channel. Let me know how I did. So yeah, your girl. Been through the ringer, honey, but we still here and we still growing. Don't give up. Keep your faith. Grow through what you go through. Every day. Y'all make sure y'all have a blessed one.